Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to you. Five and Eats. All right, guys, today we got a little Costco appetizer entree kind of thing for you. This is the Trident Wild Caught Alaska Pollock, the ultimate fish stick. The ultimate freaking fish stick. Yes, that's Forget about bold. The Gordon's Fisherman uh -huh. fish sticks. All you need is this. Yes, and they say more fish, less breading. And there are 60 panko breaded fish sticks made from whole fillets or fillets. And it is a four pound bag and it is $12.99. So when I saw that gimmick, man, the ultimate fish stick, I was like, yeah, we got to try this because mm -hmm. that's a bold claim. It is a bold claim. Because let's face it, we all loved fish sticks growing up. I didn't. You didn't? I literally never oh touched God. a fish stick. I love those things. They were awesome. And so the ultimate fish stick, I gotta, I'm just hung up on that because that thing, that's a, <laughs> that's a bold claim. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Let's try this out. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back. Our rating system, thumbs up, we buy it again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is thumbs up. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Do I love this thing? Is it the ultimate fish stick? It's all right. I feel like the Gordon's Fisherman is seasoned better, but just like their claim is, you got more fish, less breading. That's what you got here. And I like the price. For about 13 bucks, you get a lot of fish and it's easy to make. Just get some sauce, because I could not eat this on its own. I feel like the Gordon's Fisherman, I could eat that on its own, but this thing, I need something to dip it in. Mm. Not bad though, but is it great? Is it ultimate? Thumbs up. Mm. All right, for me, it's going to be a tepid thumbs up. I'm with you. It's a decent fish stick. I'm not jumping for joy over it, but I would take this over like some of those, you know, more suspect fish sticks that they have in the frozen aisle, like at Walmart and Target and stuff like that. Because my main issue with a lot of those is that there is so much breading and then the actual fish just seems kind of like mushy inside of there. This actually does look and have like the mouth feel of like fish filet. So I like that. I think that it's good quality fish. I do wish that it was better seasoned. But for what it is and just having basically like something you can quickly throw in the air fryer and have like a little fish stick snack or whatever, I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's anything that you're going to be like wowed by, but as a staple to have in your freezer that you pull this out once in a while whenever you need to make something quick. Yeah, I think that this is good, but you definitely do need sauce with it. To sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.